two guys in the morning right here on C101. Hello and good morning, sir. <clears throat> good morning. How'd that sound? Good hey. morning. Just trying to get my voice to work at uh, whatever time it is this morning. Hey, you've been uh, you've been pretty busy on the latest tour, or is this just a daily occurrence for you? Uh, both. Yeah? It's, uh, it's, uh, I just got back from uh, shows in London and Scotland and Amsterdam. <sighs> In Amsterdam, I had no fun whatsoever. Oh, really? I promise. You probably stay to yourself Lord. a lot. Where, where do you go to have fun when you're so well-traveled and everybody's flying you around to do shows and whatnot? Where do you like to go escape to, or can you? Uh, Amsterdam. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I didn't have fun yeah, here. I, for me. I, 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 you know, I'm a heavy pot smoker, <laughs> and I guarantee you, you go to Amsterdam where it's legal to smoke pot and has been for 40 years, uh, that uh, it's just a different vibe, and you're able to relax, and you realize this should not be a crime. <laughs> it should not. They're, they have almost no crime there. So when and, uh, you go to these little coffee shops, get a stone if you want to, go out and walk two miles an hour and, and go to a jelly donut shop. It, it doesn't hurt a fly. Kind of weird to me that it's uh, that it's illegal after all this time. But you know, really, the medical aspect of it, I think, is what's so kids that are suffering great illnesses and they find relief through medical marijuana, and then they have to move the whole family to another mm-hmm. state because they can't do it. That's just a crime in and of itself right there. Sure it is. I, I had uh, my two best friends uh, died of uh, cancer within eight months of each other. <sighs> and one of them pancreas, and, uh, and it was very, very painful, and the only real relief he was getting was from hip oil. Hmm. Nothing else was working anymore. And he was in Texas, and he, he could not get hip oil. The, the dying man, for sure dying, in pain, up now, you're going to have to do that yourself, Mr. White. No problem. Wow. So I, I went and bought a kilo of weed, went by the directions on the internet, made a big old batch of hemp oil. Wow. And uh, uh, started administering it to him. And it, you know, it made the last few days of his life pleasant. God, and, uh, and then my other friend, you, you could see it shrinking the tumors on his head. He had okay. melanoma. So, wow. Yeah, I know this is going to sell a lot of comedy tickets. But, no, you know, uh, tell, you, tell you the truth, we've talked to you plenty of times, and, and being able to talk to you just like a guy is a lot better than doing a radio interview in, in my book. I mean, anybody can ask you a bunch of stupid questions. I'd rather have a conversation with you. I mean, this is the truth. I yeah. just had this guy. I just did one for uh, uh, <clears throat> Bentonville, Arkansas. Yeah. This DJ is horrible. He goes, so, Rod. I'm like, nobody talks like that. Uh, and uh, he goes, Rod, every time a celebrity calls our radio station, which I'm sure is all the American <laughs> time, uh, he goes, we always ask the same question. If you could have a conversation with anybody, oh, living or dead, God, God. Would you be? And I said, I said, uh, living. <laughs> Make things a little easier. And then he tried to explain it to me. He was like, "No, what I'm saying is, if you talk to me, I'm, I, I'm all over it, dude. I'm all over it. <laughs> Nothing spreads like a comedy album, but people love it, man. And uh, they just show it to everybody. And all of a sudden, I went from comedy clubs to I could sell out a two thousand ven- seat venue in uh, in two minutes in anywhere. Wow. Anywhere. <clears throat> so just as fast as you can click your card in there, it's already it already sold out. That is so and great. So I, that was the minute when I was, when they told me that happened, that you know, <laughs> show sold out in two minutes in Wisconsin, I believe it was. Awesome. No, wow. Minneapolis, Minnesota. And uh, I was like, ah, what? <laughs> what, is, what does that mean to me financially? <laughs> Yeah, I was going to say, is that when you go celebrate? Is that when you go buy what does that like, mean to me? Big, uh, <laughs> like the big bands? Like, what does he do after How that? How much money are we talking about right here? Yeah, right. That is great, man. Now, when you, you do the uh, you, you do a lot of uh, work, well, you've got some coming up here anyway. On Friday, October 21st, you're in Vegas, the 22nd in Vegas. You're back again in December. Do you get to go run around and play and have a good time? Because Gino and I, we get we get the hell out of here as quick as we can and any time we can to go to Vegas or Louisiana to go to get our gamble on. Do you have a? Are you are you a, are you a craps guy? Are you like me and you're an old lady behind a slot machine? What do you What do you like up there? Do you Do you play? Uh, no, I I, I play uh, Texas Hold'em. Yeah. And uh, I play some blackjack. I, you know, and I don't play like I used to. I used to play a lot. But I, Big numbers, and uh, I got hit a couple times. Uh, my my problem is, 
I drink, and I got a short attention span. And late at night, I can do some pretty stupid things. <laughs> and so, uh, unless my son's with me, if my son's very smart and a very good poker player, yeah, sometimes the nut doesn't stumble far from the tree. Uh, then, then I <laughs> tend to do a little better. Uh, but but mostly I played blackjack for hours and hours and hours. Uh, you know, do you have a favorite casino you like to play in? Where's your where, where's your where's your home oh, casino? The Mirage. Yeah, uh, I, it's hard to get me out of the Mirage. Really, I have a bill in there that uh, they gave me. And, That's cool. Uh, with a private pool and a nice and, and a butler and a, it, it's anything I want seven days a week, twenty four hours a day. I can come in when I want, leave wow. when I want, and. Uh, it's all there for me, so it's uh, and it, it, it's and then you get to play Shadow Creek, which is the best golf course in America. That's awesome. Uh, wow, part of the deal too. So it's it's great. It's do you, just great. Do you do you? Somebody find... asked me the other day in an interview. I thought this was funny. They asked me in an yeah. interview. It said, uh, "Has it changed you? The, the fame <laughs> and the fortune." Hell yeah! <laughs> I grew a little bit of town in Northwest Texas, and uh, you know. It, I grew up in a little house. My dad and my grandfather built the year I was born, 1956. And now I live in Beverly Hills in a house that I built with my wife. And uh, he asked me, it, it, did it change it? And I said, well, it, in two ways it has. Um, one, when I built the house, my wife chose these really exotic Japanese toilets. And as you approach the toilet, uh, the lid automatically opens. And I was mad when I first saw it. I'm like, you're wasting our money on this stuff. But I got used to it after a while. And now if I approach the toilet, it doesn't automatically <laughs> open. I just piss all over the top of it. <laughs> so there's, there's that. <laughs> so, yeah, it uh, changed me a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. Oh, man, that is You might great. want to have an attendant around that toilet. <laughs> or a... You gotta need more. All over your bathroom. Need more of a loofah or a spare towel that Grandma <laughs> knitted. <laughs> That's awesome, man. Well, we're looking forward to seeing you at the uh, the American Bank Center. I know they cut these things to like fifteen minutes a piece or something like that. So there's some other dumb jock you got to talk to now. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> but hey, man, we look forward. Yeah, but you guys did a good job. That's you good. Do you guys an A rating. That's All great, right. man. Appreciate That's great. That. We had we had a good time with you, man. Thank you so much, Ron White. Uh, be here on Friday at the American Bank Center. I'm going to go piss on our toilet. See if it works. We'll walk up to yeah, the first. Yeah. Well, hey, man. Wear your, wear your, wear your pissing shoes. Cause <laughs> hey, man. Have a fantastic day, man. We'll talk to you soon, brother. All right, come out to the show. We'll you, drink with me.